Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Srini. In this video, we're going to look at fundamentals of Angular for absolute beginners, uh, which will help them to develop a fully functional web applications from scratch. So first thing, what is Angular? Angular is a framework for building a client-side application uh, in HTML5, CSS3 and either JavaScript or TypeScript. TypeScript is a type superset of a JavaScript that compiles to plain JavaScript. Okay, you can write JavaScript inside a TypeScript and TypeScript is a more common in Angular community. The Angular framework is itself is written using a TypeScript. Okay, you might ask but why we need an Angular or why we need to build an Angular project. Uh, we can use uh, our plain old JavaScript or jQuery to build a single page application and that's how plenty of web applications are built and it is built, even built today. But as our application grows larger and more complex, we need a way to properly organize the structure. It becomes too much hassle and cumbersome to maintain a complex application just with a vanilla or plain JavaScript. And that is why over the past few years, various frameworks have evolved to address these issues and make web application development a lot, lot easier. Next thing is setting up your development environment. So first thing first, you need to install a latest Node.js. So just head over to Node.js.org. If your system, if your computer doesn't have a Node.js, you can go ahead and uh, install your Node.js in your operating system. The latest current version is 8.12.0, which is a latest stable version. So we need this version, not this one, the 10.11.0. Just go ahead and first check whether we have a node installed on our PC or Mac. So node hyphen hyphen version will give out your version number of your node. And then we, need, we also need NPM in order to install a, any third party libraries for Angular. So we have 8.11.4 and 5.6.0 as our node and npm version. Okay, so once we do that, we need um, Angular CLI to install our Angular project. So Angular CLI uh, is a command line interface uh, for Angular, which is basically a tool to create new Angular project or generate some pre-built Angular code. So in the terminal, you can go straight away and give it as npm install g at angular slash cli. But I already have angular cli installed. To check whether you have um, ng installed, angular cli installed, all you have to do is just give it a command like ng hyphen hyphen version. So this will spit out the version that currently it is running on and it also tells us the package names that it is currently running on. So if you look here, it will give out the node version along with the Angular version as well and the rest of the information that you might need while building your project or let's just say building your building the more complex projects in future. All right. So and another important aspect is um, this install hyphen g tells you that um, it will install throughout the system globally uh, which means you can access your angular cli anywhere else in your operating system anywhere else in your folder or directories um, if you if you're not using this it will just install it in your local working space or a directory right so it will just install inside your angular folder whereas if you give it as g hyphen g it will just go ahead and install it will make it available throughout the system now Let's just go ahead and create our first Angular app. To do that, let's clear this space and then go ahead and create. To do that, we have to give ng new and then tell us uh, we can call this project as our first Angular project. That suits good. And then we can specify our kind of style sheet we need. If you just leave it blank, it will take it as a CS, CSS as your standard style sheet format. Whereas you can specify what kind of style sheet you need. Do you want SAS? You can just give it as SCSS and give it a go. Okay, it's done. So if you look closely here, ng new command um, introduced a bunch of new files into your directory. Um, this in turn runs the npm command, which uh, again, it will generate a bunch of files and folders. 
and it makes use of npm to download supported libraries for your project so what we'll do is let's just go inside our code okay first we need to check if our app works so let's clear this space and then run our app to do that ng a command called serve so ng serve will oh, clear that we need to navigate into our newly created project so once we are inside our project folder we can give it as ng serve now once you've done that it will go ahead and compile your uh, angular project and then make it ready for the web and it will deploy it in your local webs uh, local host 4200 so it's right over here now let's open our google chrome and then congratulations this is our first angular project that's uh, running on local host 4200 and let's close this out now let's see what files and folders are in our newly created app this will show you what all, what is the, the structure of an angular app so let me have this opened up okay the first one we see is e to e this is where we write end-to-end -end tests for for the application this is basically an automated test that simulates a real user test as of now we don't have to worry about this in this particular session after that we have node modules this is where we store all our third-party libraries that our application uses so if you're going to install bootstrap using npm it will load up here it will save here and then any other like material design or any other third-party libraries that it'll it'll save up here so all, all the references comes from this node module direct directory now this folder is purely for development purpose so when we complete our app only part of this node modules will be put inside a bundle for deployment so whatever you see here won't, won't be available in the production deployable ready bundle okay only the the libraries that you use will be available for uh, uh, the final uh, de deployment bundle okay so and below that we have src or source folder this is the actual source code of our application we have app folder and inside we have a module and a component so if you open up here well, let me drag this further to see see yeah we have a component and you have an app model don't need to worry because we will be covering this this later in our um, in the next session of videos right so the rule here is um, every application so every application has at least one module and one component you will get used to these modules and components in the upcoming series very soon okay and then there is another video called assets this will store our static assets such as images and icons all of these goes inside the assets folder. Even our font, we can we can store we can put this move this here. The environment directory holds information for production environment or dev environment. So if you have a Firebase account uh, hooked up into your project in your Angular project, you can specify one for the development purpose, the other for the production purpose. So you have two environment settings here. So we will be covering this later on but right now we are just looking at the structure of our angular project okay and the one that you see right now is the index html so when i open that up okay you will if you look closely our angular app is loaded using app root okay and if you really look closely there are no references to our javascript or css style, style sheet files all these references will be dynamically inserted into uh, into this page and finally main.ts main.ts is a typescript file which is technically the starting point or entry point of our application so this is this is where everything starts up okay so it it, uh, it it bootstraps into an app module and then from then on it executes from there from the app module ts okay um so everything else starts from here this is pretty much about the main ts and then the another important file is the angular json yes the angular json which is a cli configuration file which is pretty standard configuration file and we don't have to worry about it for the most part but we can this is 
primarily useful if you're going to deploy our Angular project. Um, we can specify the folders that we need to, to deploy this Angular project, uh, deploy this bundle as such. So when, when we are going to deploy it, we'll be covering this aspect more. Okay, and then another important file is the package JSON. Right, the, this is also a standard file that every node project has this. A node pro without package JSON, there is no node project. This is very important. This is kind of a configuration for the for Node.js. And apart from the basic settings like the names and versions you see here, we have these settings such as dependencies and dev dependencies. The dependencies have nine Angular references. So when you're when you're moving this, when you're uh, creating compiling this your Angular project. All of your nine dependencies will be included in the in the final bundle. So whenever you use third-party libraries, you will see them listed here. For example, if you're going to include Material Design or Bootstrap, it will get included here. Okay. So below this, if you look here, there is another setting called Dev Dependencies, which is useful if you're developing an Angular application, and we don't need this specifically we don't need this to run our application on production server so you can include jasmine core karma things like that which really we don't need this in the production environment okay so they are purely the section is purely for development purpose alone so this is the basic structure of an angular project so this is pretty much it so what angular and what it does and let's go ahead and quickly rename some of these stuff let's go ahead and edit our component and see the changes that we have we have given the title as first angular project which is basically boilerplate when you're creating using when you create using ng new command you can you can add up hello world wish me luck So we need to run our ng serve again all right so our changes are reflected another thing that i need to point this out let me delete this and show you what happens right instantly it it, it is doing an auto refresh okay this magic is done none done by none other than webpack right so whenever we make changes to our angular project angular cli takes care of background processing such as transpiling your TypeScript code to a JavaScript and compile your Angular project fully. By getting all our scripts and style sheets, combines them and puts them into a bundle and then modifies, minifies the bundle and this is purely for optimization. So if you notice clearly, you got these things like all our scripts are just compiled and made it into a bundle. So whenever you make changes, the compile successfully and compiling will be coming up. So whenever you hit the change, if whenever it detects a change, it will say compiling and then finally it compiles successfully only the parts that needs comp compilation. Now, back in the browser, you will see the change without refreshing the page. So we have new, we, I mean, we got the new changes reflected instantly. The webpack employs a new feature known as hot module reloading. So this is what makes this is what makes the changes instantly appear in your browser. Let's go ahead and view our view inspect element and view our page. So if you notice, all our scripts runtime and I mean all our scripts are bundled and injected uh, into the bottom of our index.html here. So when you open up your index.html, you don't have any of the scripts, any of the references to our style sheets or, uh, or JavaScript listed here. Whereas if you look at the page source, it will be listed here. So Angular, what it does is uh, using the webpack, it injects your changes, injects your scripts, style sheets, and JavaScript into your index.html. So to conclude, we have covered what is Angular and why we need an Angular, setting up our development environment and your first Angular app and the webpack as well. So if you have any suggestions about this video or you need to make any changes or need to add some improvement to this video, please comment down in the section below. And then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more updates about the Angular, uh, Angular 6 and material design in the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for 
watching this video. Thank you.